Hey, what's going on guys? This is part three of Deathstroke. In this video, I'm going to be making the... <clears throat> I'm going to be making the... What am I making? Uh, the gauntlets, the shin guards, the boots, and the knee pads. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Here are the templates for my shin guards, my knee pad, my thigh guards, and also the foot guard. I went and cut the shin guards into a uh, different shape so I can trace them onto the EVA foam. And I'm going to take a razor blade and I'm going to score the line so I can open them up with a heat gun. It's going to give it that extra accent effect. And while I'm at it, I'm going to form the shin guards to shape around the shin. When you cut these, you want to cut them in 45 degree angles. That way when you go and glue them together, you'll get this V-shaped looking thingy. Apply some more heat and get some more shape out of it. it. Should look like that. This is the boot guard or shoe guard or lace guard or call it whatever. But I also cut this in the V shape too. Apply some heat and form it to shape. And it will attach to the shin guard like that. I'm going to use some Velcro and some elastic to hold it together. But I'll do that after I paint it. And this is the back of the boot. Uh, I guess you can call them boot covers. I don't know. I'm making these names up as I go. So I cut them out and then I cut them again so I can glue them together and stagger them so I can have these really cool layering effects like plates on top of plates on your boots. When you glue these pieces together, you want to make sure both top and the bottom parts are curved. That way it will hold its shape. And now that you have it all nice and fitted to your legs, go ahead and glue it to the shin guards. Now you want to make sure that you have enough room for your jeans or your pants. Deathstroke actually has straps holding the shin guards to the boot, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make these velcro attaching thingies that's going to look like boot straps. I'm using five millimeter craft foam to do a band around the boot just like that. And now you have yourself some nice boots. Here are the knee pads. It's really quick and simple. I cut them in these egg looking shape thingies and glue them together. And I'm going to use some elastic with velcro combination to attach them to my knees. Right here I'm working on some thigh guards. A real quick and simple pattern just wraps around my leg. Creeper. I went and cut me some two inch wide strips that just wraps around the thighs like that. I'm attaching it with some velcro and some elastic combination so I can put it on with ease and wear it with some comfort. Let's move along to the gauntlets. Now when I first started working on this, this was kind of a pain in the butt. But after I got it done, it wasn't so bad. When I cut these pieces out, I cut the connecting edges in a 45 degree angle so that when I glue them together, it'll be able to wrap around my arms, my guns. Applying my barge rubber cement and slowly putting it together. You want to wait till these are dry and tacky before you make contact because they work better that way. These gauntlets got some elbow thingy majiggies. Apply some heat and get a little bit of form into them before you add on additional accents. I'm adding on another sheet of foam. This is going to be the inside of the gauntlet. So these gauntlets can completely wrap around your arm just like that. I'm going to apply some contact cement and some tabs for some Velcro. This will allow me to take them off and put them on with some ease and gives me some room to adjust them because I want it tight so they don't fall off when I'm fighting Batman because Batman is Batman I sketched on some design ideas I'm going to use masking tape so I can transfer these patterns over to a cardboard piece of paper then I can use the cardboard template so I can transfer the pattern over to some craft foam once I have it all traced out and cut out, I can flip the pattern over and then trace out for the other arm. I'm using 5mm craft foam sheet for the top half of the pattern and 2mm craft foam sheet for the bottom half of the pattern. This will give this some extra cool effect. Yeah. I'm using some dab weld wood contact cement so I can apply the plates on top of the gauntlets and slowly applying the details so that I can have them both looking symmetrical. 
electrical. You want to make sure these foam sheets are nice and on there because you don't want them popping loose. I am cutting out some elbow pads that's going to be glued onto the gauntlets just like that and once you're done it should look something like this so awesome hey I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys learned something um, well this video shout out goes to KV props he's got some cool stuff going on his Instagram and he's also got a YouTube channel so I'll put his links in the description below and I also want to give a shout out to is joy or yeah, it's Joy. Anyway, she's a really cool cosplayer. she got some pretty cool stuff going on on her Instagram page. I'm going to leave links to her page in the descriptions below as well. But, um, yeah. And next video, I'm going to show you guys how to paint the, uh, the stroke costume or cosplay or whatever, the suit. And, and I'm going to do some carbon fiber effect too, which I did in the helmet video. But, uh, I'm going to do the same thing again. So, anyways, I'll see you guys then.